hello viewers today we are going to discuss phonetics so what is phonetics phonetics is actually the study of the characteristics of speech sound and there are further subcategories for phonetics and it is articulatory phonetics which is related to the articulation of speech sounds like how speech sounds are produced and from which location in mouth cavity the speech sounds are produced and the acoustic phonetics deal with the waves with the sound waves of the speech so it is a branch of physics you can say and the auditory phonetics is actually about the impact of those speech waves the speech sounds or speech on our brain and ear so in this uh, discussion we will talk about only articulatory phonetics because our concern is computational linguistics so we will not deal with the, these these areas so what is articulatory phonetics it is about the place of articulation and the manner of articulation uh, in any language there are alphabets to represent the distinct sounds of that language and but we can categorize all the sounds of any language in two categories first voiced sounds and voiceless sounds so the voice sounds are those sounds uh, for which the air is obstructed at glottal level as you know the sound is produced when the vocal cords vibrate and in voiced sounds uh, because all the sounds are produced when we exhale so when we exhale the air is obstructed at glottal level so we produce voice sound and the distinction of voice sound is that you feel vibration at your throat so you feel vibration so it is it is a uh, you can say that, that you can distinguish voice sound from the voiceless sounds and in voiceless sounds there is no vibration and air is not obstructed so that's a very simple example that you can that can help us understand about the difference just pronounce the letter p it is a voiceless sounds now pronounce the letter b it is a voice sound so when you say b you have to apply more force as you feel the obstruction of air and when you say p you do not need to apply so much force and also when you pronounce b you feel vibration at your throat but for b you don't feel the vibration similarly k is voiceless and g is voiced so all the sounds in any language can be categorized as voiced and voiceless sounds so next we see how uh, can we categorize the uh, sounds with respect to the place of articulation for the place of articulation the, this is the anatomy of our mouth cavity and uh, from here we let's say let's uh, uh, study the sounds one by one first of all we see bilabial sounds so bilabial sounds bi means Two, and you know label means lips so bilabial 
sounds uh, are those sounds which are produced with the help of, of both lips upper lip and lower lip so the sounds P and B and M and W all these sounds are bilabial sounds and next is labiodental labiodental sounds are those sounds which are articulated using the lower lip and upper teeth you can experiment it yourself as well like when you pronounce F or V you have to use lower lip and upper teeth and the next is dental sounds the dental sounds are those sounds uh, which are produced by teeth only you, you mean you do also you have to use tongue and other area of mouth cavity but teeth are very important for these sounds and these two sounds are theta and the theta is actually uh, a voiceless and the is voiced in this table you can observe that minus means voiceless and plus v means voiced you can observe the sound theta as the first sound in the word theta and the sound in the word the so these are two dental sounds and next is the region of this is called the alveolar region which is a soft upper portion of mouth cavity and sounds articulated from this area are called alveolar sounds and in alveolar sounds T and S are voiceless whereas D, Z, N, L, R these are voice sound and next to the alveolar region there is heart region that is called palate so the sound produced are articulated from this region are called palatal sounds and in palatal sounds uh, we have this sound as we do not have any specific English alphabet for this sound we try to represent this sound with the combination of letters like SH so this is the sound like the first sound in this word shoe or the last sound in the word, word brush and you know these these letters are not English alphabets these letters are actually IPA letters which is which means international phonetic alphabets and international phonetic alphabets are actually standardized alphabets to represent all the sounds in all the languages of the world so we have these standardized set of alphabets which we can use to transcribe any language of the world so we were talking about this sound it is a sha sound as the first sound of shoe or the last sound of the word brush and next is this uh, IPA symbol and it represents the sound of cha sound as in the the first and last sound of this word church and next this is the sound uh, it is very rare in English uh, you can feel it in the word trayer so the middle sound that trayer is actually the mixture of uh, Z plus Y sound. So this 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 blending of Z and Y sound that is in that word trayer I can also not properly pronounce it is represented by this symbol. And next is this symbol and it is actually the sound of as the jug or the judge. So this sound is ja sound is represented by this symbol and this parallel sound is noted by this symbol is actually the combination of this sound ja sound 
plus y sound so it like this word the natives do not call it u they 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 mix the sound of u with the sound of j so the mixture of j and j become u u so this sound is represented by by this symbol and next to the palatal region this this soft uh, region behind the uh, at, at the back end of the uh, mouth cavity is called velar region and sound uh, is called velum and the sounds produced from this region are called velar sounds uh, these are uh, k is the voiceless velar sound and g is the voiced velar sound and this symbol uh, is actually the mix the blend of n and g sound which is called angma and this sound is present in the word like sing and the word like bang so do not confuse that that the this word ends at g it doesn't end at g it ends at this sound similarly this words end at this sound and you know when we uh, try to make the text to speech system for any language uh, we first of all transcribe the given text uh, into IPAs that is called phonetic transcription because in any language the uh, conventional script is not phonetic so because whereas the text to speech system should be as the words are pronounced so we transcribe the words as they are pronounced so to, to transcribe the words according to the pronunciation we use IPA symbol and you can uh, also observe this transcription in any dictionary like if I open a dictionary here and we can be try wrote the word bang and you and I uh, uh, cuff uh, this is a this is a, this is a bang and this is the transcription these are IP symbols in this is the angma that it's end at angma start at B and is the com the diphthong of two uh, vowels similarly so it's called bang 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 and this is sing and this is cuff now as you can observe that cuff start with C but actually the sound is that of K it ends at G H but actually it's the sound of F so this is the phonetic transcription with the help of IP symbols and uh, next is uh, the glottal sounds these are the sounds which are articulated from the glottis region and this is the H sound that is like in who uh, so the, this is a voiceless sound so this is the classification of sounds with respect to the place of articulation and in next lecture we will classify the sounds with respect to the manner of articulations and we discover and discuss these categories so stay blessed and stay tuned for the next lecture